Good evening and welcome to the Daily Market Update. The DSEX ended flat today, marginally losing 4.10 points or 0.07%, and settled at 6,269 points. Market turnover was 8.89 billion Bangladeshi takas, which is a decrease of 1.05% compared to the previous trading day. Robbie and Bangladesh Submarine Cable Company from the telecommunication sector, Heidelberg Cement and Lafarge Wholesome from the cement sector, and Prime Finance First Mutual Fund, AIBL First Islamic Mutual Fund and SEML Lecture Equity Fund from the mutual fund sector pulled up the market today, while Beacon Pharmaceuticals, Square Pharmaceuticals and Kohinoor Chemicals from the pharmaceutical sector, GPH Spat and Oftab Automobiles from the industrial sector, and Shahjalal Islami Bank and Uttara Bank from the bank sector mainly dragged down down the market today, keeping it flat. In terms of sector-wise return, the cement sector posted the highest gain of 0.94%, while the mutual fund sector registered the second highest gain of 0.76%. On the other hand, the tannery sector posted the highest loss of 1.66% today. Five textile companies were among the top 20 losers today. NRB Bank, SEML Lecture Equity Management, and Anlamiarn Dying registered the highest gain, while Union Capital, Mithin Knitting and Dying, and Best Holding were the top losers today. NRB Bank registered as one of the gainers today as they recently made their trading debut. There is no publicly disclosed price sensitive information for the price change of the remaining stocks. The trading volume of Robbie Axiata, Renata, and Actifying Chemicals increased significantly today compared to the average trading volume of the last three months. There is no publicly disclosed material reason for the volume increase of these stocks. Top two news today. The annual development program ADP experienced a notably low implementation rate of 27.11% in the initial seven months of the ongoing fiscal year. This record low implementation is primarily attributed to economic deceleration and the national election during this time frame. Implementing agencies managed to spend 74,464 crore Bangladeshi takas between July and January of FY24 of the allocated 2.75 lakh Bangladeshi taka crore ADP budget. However, it is expected that the implementation and disbursement of money will increase during the rest of the year. Gas tariffs for power plants saw a 5.36% increase, while captive power plants experienced a 2.5% hike. Furthermore, electricity rates are set to rise by 34 Bangladeshi paise and 70 Bangladeshi paise per unit starting from March. In accordance with an IMF requirement, the government will implement an automated pricing formula for petroleum in early March. However, these adjustments are anticipated to further elevate commodity prices. That's all for today. Thank you.